Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So I brought back the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and uh, the ROM that I'm going to flash on this mobile phone is actually official port of the Android 16, the Evolution X version 11.4.1. Official release of the Evolution X Android 16 for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G and Galaxy Note 10. Right now I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus but the method is same for the Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G also but only we have to download the files accordingly to the model or the variant right. So I was getting a message that we have one UI version 7 Android 15. This is the actually Eternity ROM version 5.5 and they want me to make the video to install the official port of the Evolution X Android 16 over on the Eternity ROM. But it doesn't matter if you have any other custom ported ROM installed, still the method is same. But for those who have a stock firmware, they need to unlock the bootloader first. Then you can install the official board of the Evolution X ROM on the mobile phone. Now the Evolution X is actually a good ROM. The Android open source project which is very fast and also with a good battery life. Before going ahead, if you are getting help from my videos, do not forget to like the video and keep sharing it with others so the others also get info about it and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then click or tap the subscribe button click or tap the bell icon and click or tap the select all thank you links provided in my video description now this is the d2s the code name of the galaxy note 10 plus d2s for those who have Galaxy Note 10 Plus Exynos model, they will have to download the files of the D2S code name, right? Now, if you want to read information or change log, you can click here for downloading. Click download ROM. So, other window will get open. You can see that there are few files provided, right? 11.1, 11.4 and the latest one which is currently last release is the 11.4.1. Now, I will suggest you to download the last one, the latest one, 11.4.1. After downloading the file, we have to download the recovery file also. If you click the recovery folder, there will be a file available with the name of recovery. Download the recovery file also. Let me tell you that the D2S recovery will work only on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Do not try to install the another variant recovery on the D2S, right? Now for the Galaxy Note 10 users for Exynos model variant all only, right? Those who want to get the Evolution X ROM, they will have to click the link and come to this official website. Code name you can see D1 Galaxy Note 10. If you want to read the change log, you can click here. And if you want to download, then click the download ROM, right? So other window will get open. Download the latest one, which is D1 code name 11.4.21, right? And then click the recovery folder also and download the recovery files along with the, the ROM file. Now, those who have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G, this one, right? You can see that the code name is D2X. If you want to read the change log, you can click here. Or if you want to uh, straightly download the ROM, then click download ROM. Another window will get open. So go with the latest one, which is D2X 11.4.1. And after downloading this file, yes, we have to download the recovery file also. Click this recovery folder and download the recovery file, which may be or which must be latest one, right? Now, in my case, I have Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Code name is D2S. So I will flash the files on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But the procedure is same. Now for the Eternity TWRP Recovery Origin Pack, the currently this one is for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But I will provide uh, the other file link also like for the Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. You have to download the Eternity ROM TWRP Origin Pack 3.0 version according to the model, right? Because the N975F TWRP Origin Pack will not work on the Galaxy Note 10 or Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. We have to download the TWRP Origin Pack 
according to the variant or according to the model. I have downloaded all the files already. Recovery file 11.4.21, Evolution X ROM for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the Odin file and the Play Farm tools. Yes, we have to download these two files also. Okay, let me start the procedure now. First of all, extract the Odin 3.14.1 in same folder. Then extract the Play Farm tools in same folder. Then copy the Evolution X ROM file. And let me tell you one more thing that this ROM is coming with the Google applications. We do not have to install the GAPS separately. This is this ROM is coming pre-default with the GAPS, right? I have extracted Odin and Platform tools. Now I will copy the Evolution X official ROM file from here. And I will open the extracted folder of the Platform tools and I will paste the file over here that I pasted here, right? Now I will rename this file to make the thing easy. Select the file, press F2, delete the file name, just give a name ROM. The file name is supposed to be ROM.ZIP, right? Then press enter key. File name already got renamed, right? Now go back, then open the Odin 3.14.1 extracted folder. Double click the Odin file to open the Odin. Click OK on this pop up window and on Odin, I will click AP slot. Then I will go back to my downloaded folder and I will double click to select the Eternity ROM 3TWRP Odin pack file by double clicking on it. Thanks to the developer of the Eternity ROM who is uh, providing the releases for, for the Galaxy Note 10 series. Now the Odin is almost ready coming back towards the mobile phone. So there are a few things that we have to do before uh, starting the flashing procedure. First of all, you need to unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone, right? Then you need to check the uh, mobile phone battery. It's supposed to be charged. In case if the mobile phone battery is below 30%, then charge the battery first and then save all the internal storage data. Otherwise, the data will get formatted, right? Then go to settings and go to the accounts and backup. In case if you are using a Samsung account, must remove the Samsung account to avoid issues flashing the TWRP. And then sync your Google account, like tap on it, sync it, and then must remove the Google account to avoid issues from the Google. Okay, done. Then go back to the settings. Then tap the lock screen and uh, turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe you have done all these things simply power off the mobile phone always use a good quality of data cable for charging and for flashing now you need to check the mobile phone it is supposed to be totally power off right we have to boot the phone into odin mode and you need to check the other side of this data cable must be connected with computer or laptop, whatever option you have. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Keep it press, hold it press and then connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, you will see warning screen release both keys immediately, right? Now on this screen, if you read volume up, long press for unlock mode. Those who are not having an unlock bootloader, you can unlock the bootloader from this screen. In my case, mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked. So I will press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode. So the phone is booted into Odin mode. Now you need to check the, that the KG state must show checking. In case if your mobile phone KG state shows pre-normal or anything else then the TWRP recovery will not get flash. It must show checking then the recovery will get flash without issues. So the phone is connected with a computer booted already in Odin mode. Coming back towards the computer screen I have installed the Samsung Android USB driver already that is why the Odin detected my mobile phone. You can see that COM4 and the phone is added. On the Odin screen, click Options, then untick the Auto Reboot. Go back, then click Start. So the recovery file will start getting flash to the mobile phone. When you see Pass message means Done. Click Exit, then go back to the downloaded folder, right? Now I will come back to the mobile phone. Now I have to boot the phone into 
custom recovery from the Odin mode because the mobile phone still booted into Odin mode. Check the data cable it is must be connected with mobile phone. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. All three keys at same time, right? Hold it press. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. Okay. When mobile phone shows Samsung logo, release the power key. Just wait. Okay. Now just wait for like 5 seconds. And then release the volume up key also. So the phone will now show it will boot into TWRP. I got the team one recovery screen on my mobile phone. First of all, swipe to allow modifications, right? Then tap wipe, then swipe to factory reset, turn, go back, then tap format data, right? And then type Y E S tap here, turn, go back, go back to main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. The recovery screen got appears once again on my mobile phone swipe to allow modifications and the internal storage will pop up on the computer screen here we go samsung d2s is the internal storage of my mobile phone now i will go back to my downloaded folder and i will copy the recovery file which is the evolution x recovery 11.4.1 img I will copy the recovery file from the downloaded folder and then I will go to my internal storage of the mobile phone. Double click to open the internal storage and paste that recovery file on the internal storage of the mobile phone. So I got the file. Now coming back towards the mobile phone screen. On the TWRP screen first tap install then tap install image. You will see the file. Yes, I just copied. Tap to select the file. Then uh, scroll down, select the option of recovery, put a tick sign or select the recovery partition, then swipe to confirm flash. Recovery got flash. Now go back to the main screen and then reboot, tap reboot and tap recovery. Now the phone will reboot and it will start booting to the custom recovery. But this, this time the recovery will be evolution X recovery. So I got the Evolution X recovery on my mobile phone. Now, first of all, I will tap Factory Reset over here. Then I will tap uh, Format Data Factory Reset. Then Format Data. Okay, done. Then I will go back to the main screen. I will tap Apply Update and I will tap Apply from ADB. So the phone will boot it into ADB site load mode. You can see that the cable is still connected, right? Coming back towards the, mobile, uh, the computer screen. Now this time, double click to open the platform tools extracted folder. Right click cmd.exe, then left click on the run as administrator. Click yes on another pop-up window. The command window will get open on your computer screen. Now simply start flushing the ROM file. You will have to type the command which is adb space side load space rom.zip now before pressing enter key make sure that you have already installed the uh, adb fast boot drivers on your windows right now press enter key and definitely you will see that the rom file is started transferring to the mobile phone you can see the percentage is going on and uh, during the trans transferring file the mobile phone will flash the rom also all we have to do is to wait here now. Flashing got completed. At the end, definitely you will see that install completed with status zero, which means that things are done very perfectly, right? Disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and tap reboot system now, which is already highlighted. Tap on it and we are done from the computer if you want you can delete the extracted file of the odin and the platform tools yes we have to wait here once again because the mobile phone will start booting to the evolution x official rom very soon and the first boot will not take that much time 
Finally, first boot completed. I will complete the setup screen. All things done and smoothly done. So this is the latest control center that we are getting with the Evolution X ROM Android 16. I will tap settings. Then I will go to the about phone. Yes. Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And if I tap the Android 16, you can see that Evolution X, Android 16, Evolution X version is 11.4.1. Android security update, you can check it out. BeastPen version provided, kernel version. And the build maintainer name is over here. All things done very smoothly. And these are the pre-default applications coming with the ROM. Yes, we are having basic call recorder application over here to record the calls automatically in high quality. Play Store available here. You can simply straightly log in your Gmail account, use the Play Store to download the application straightly. The AOSP camera provided, yes, it is working fine. So thank you so much for watching my video. Keep sharing it and I will see you next time in my next video. Until then, goodbye.